it's Meg from High Scores Arcade, and today I want to talk about Taito's 1983 game, Zookeeper. Now, Zookeeper is one of a few American born and bred games that Taito released, and in it, you are playing as Zeke the Zookeeper, rushing around to control your escaped animals with the ultimate goal of saving Zelda, your girlfriend, who has been tied up and kidnapped by a menacing monkey. Now, if this sounds a little thematically familiar, consider that they may have needed the inspiration. The original game was called King Crab and had you rushing around to control a giant crab and corral eggs that would ultimately evolve into killer tadpoles. So sounds like they made the right move creatively on this one. As an arcade operator and collector, this game has a core group of loyalists that know it, love it, and will look for it. The cabinet itself fits nicely into the Taito lineup in that it shares that same silhouette that they use for all the cabinets, but it will stand out because it has a full art package and has some whimsical designs of Zeke and the animals on the front and the side of the cabinets. Now, excellent in this game is stunning. The current world record is coming in at 63 million. The pro board record at high scores is 3.7 million set by Steve Wagner over 10 years ago. Now, Steve is one of the top 20 in the world on this game, but if you think you can beat him, here's your invitation to come on down and do so. But if you're watching this video just to learn a couple of tips and tricks to get you through the first couple of levels, I'm your girl. So let's go take a look and see how you can do that. All right, taking a look at Zookeeper. How long can you hold the animals in? See the animals in their relative point values for either jumping over them or keeping them captured. Starting off with three lives and you are Zeke the Zookeeper. Running around the perimeter of the center enclosure here, laying bricks to try to keep your escaping animals in. They are going to chip away from the inside while you build up the outside. You see every once in a while there's an opportunity to grab that net there and send them packing back into the middle. It's going to tally up the points that I have left for keeping those animals in. And same thing on this level. Now the opportunities to jump over them for multiple points, they come few and far between on these first couple of levels. So you just want to play it straight, aim for survival as you're getting comfortable with the game. You see this fuse timer at the top. It's showing me when bonus items are going to show up, including the net here. It's also going to show me when the end of the level is coming up. So round two completed. See these guys were still inside. Now it brings me to this level of moving platforms where I have to avoid the coconuts that are falling down and get to the top to save Zelda, my girlfriend. I'm now her hero for 5,000 points. And now say there's a lot of opportunities to grab bonus points in that level, but you really just want to play it safe until you understand uh, how you move and get comfortable with the game. Make your way up to the top and don't get tricky until you're more comfortable. Back to zookeeping here. You see I'm starting to get more opportunities to jump over multiple animals at a time. And here I'm starting with no wall. So I've got to build it up. Kind of ha uh, helps me to do kind of half of the screen at first. Helps me to see where these animals are going here as I go along. If it helps to predict where these guys are going to be for you you can always keep in mind that when they come out of that center enclosure there they're always going to go in the opposite direction of where you are so some people get a rhythm where they can kind of group them together for real big jumps here gonna send these guys packing you see i'm at 50,900 at the end of round four tallying up my animals and i'm back to a moving platform stage where again um opportunities for bonuses are there once you get comfortable now i've saved her for 10,000 points the floor on that one disintegrates as you go along so you really don't want to take your time with it this is called the escalator stage there's two escalators moving in different directions on either side i've reunited again with my girlfriend i'm getting all sorts of love and back to work as the zookeeper. Again, starting with no wall and the animals are really moving fast at this point. Stakes is high. You wanna run around, build up that wall as best as you can. Woo. Things are getting a little trickier, guys. That's one of those big jumps you see for big bonuses. You can 
get that. And that's how those scores get so high that you see up on that scoreboard. But as you can see, survival is not for the faint of heart. All right, round five completed at 176, 450. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to High Scores Arcade, we are arcade collectors and preservationists with over 160 games in our collection here in Northern California. You can play some of them at our arcade in Alameda, just across the bridge from San Francisco. Our mission is to collect, protect, and share back the classic games of the 1980s. And if you'd like to be a part of our mission or just watch, please like, subscribe, share our content with your like-minded friends. And if you wanna to contribute towards our preservation efforts, we invite you to visit www.highscoresarcade.com where there's a link to donate and do that. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.